Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about a brand new Diglett, a Pokemon that isn't Diglett, a Pokemon that strongly resembles Diglett but isn't. It's not a form, same as Wiglet. What's going on here? Let's let's discuss it a little bit. Putting aside Game Freak's strange recent obsession with Diglett and all things Tunneling Worm, we're going to take a look at this brand new Pokemon that was just sort of officially revealed by the Pokemon Company, and that is Wiglet. Now, there is no official trailer just yet. There is no official page on the Pokemon website, but they did put out a video highlighting this Pokemon in a bit of a featurette of the Paldea region and some of its nature. Now, Wiglet is a ground and water type Pokemon that is not Diglett. It is not a form of Diglett. It is not a Paldean Diglett, just like Paldean Wooper is. It is not an evolution of Diglett that is an outcropping in the Paldea region. That is not what this Pokemon is. This is a brand new Pokemon that strangely resembles Diglett. It strangely resembles the burrowing Pokemon from Generation 1 that we all know and love. But it's Wiglet. It's separate. There is some sort of strange evolution thing going on here, and we're talking real world evolution here, not Pokemon evolution, in that this Pokemon has some of the same traits that grew through the evolution of Diglett as a species, in that it can tunnel and move around through the earth or maybe through the water, since it has that water typing, and that allows it to survive. So there is some kind of cross or uh, a side by side evolution going on here with this Pokemon, but it is a brand new Pokemon. Now, there are certain things that need to be addressed, and this is a spoiler warning if you have not been paying attention to the internet with Scarlet and Violet recently. There were some leaks a couple months ago that talked about something similar to this. It's not exact, it's not a guarantee that it's legit, but this idea of Pokemon that do look similar to older Pokemon that are not forms of said Pokemon has been discussed in the community as recently as a couple months back. So Wiglet could be a Pokemon that confirms this leak, it could be a Pokemon that declines whatever we learned in that leak. But it does exist, it is something that needs to be addressed, but Wiglet specifically, what we know about it is a groundwater type, like I said before, it is similar to Diglett in many respects, and the Pokemon company is teasing this as some sort of preempt for an announcement of a new feature coming to Scarlet and Violet. If this was just a brand new form, if this was just a Pokemon all in its own that looks similar to Diglett, they'd probably have revealed this in a trailer like they typically do, but they've set this up to be something different. They've set this up to ready our expectations that in the next couple days there's going to be a trailer of sorts that reveals more information as to what's going on with this Pokemon. So Wiglet, it looks a little strange, it's got a much bigger nose than Diglett does, it's pink. It kind of reminds me of the Alaskan Bullworm from SpongeBob SquarePants, if you've ever seen that episode. It actually has a lot of similarities to the Alaskan Bullworm. I don't think they took inspiration from SpongeBob, but I really, really hope they did. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my podcast, The Eon Ticket, a weekly Pokemon podcast that gets streamed right here on the channel and then afterwards gets uploaded onto its own channel, which is The Eon Ticket. If you are not subscribed yet to The Eon Ticket, the link is on my channel page and also in the description of this video. I would highly recommend checking it out, checking out the first two episodes which are already up, and subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. We're going to be talking a ton of Pokemon every week on that channel. We're going to have guests and we're going to discuss all of the latest breaking news from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and other things going on with the Pokemon franchise. So if you have not checked that out, please be sure to check it out. There'll be a card in the corner right now, link in the description, and a link on my channel. Now let's do a little speculation before jumping to any conclusions as to what this could be. This is not a Paldean form, as I said before. This is not an evolution of Diglett. This is an entirely new thing. And if I had to take my best guess, I think this is some kind of variance to an older evolutionary link. So these Pokemon clearly evolved in similar ways in different regions and adapted some of the same traits. Whether or not they give this special type of Pokemon its own distinction and its own name is yet to be seen. Of course, we have regional variants. That is something we have an official name for. It is a Pokemon that evolves and adapts differently to the region it lives in. How the Pokemon company chooses to distinguish this from whatever the heck this Wiggly it is, 
will be interesting, because it could get very confusing very fast. One of the reasons why I love regional variants so much is because they are a distinct thing. But having two different types of variants that are a little bit dissimilar but still look very close to one another could be an interesting, interestingly strange marketing term by Pokemon. I want to see how they do it. I want to see how they choose to distinguish these forms from other Pokemon that look like them. But there does create some interesting uh, question marks. There are Pokemon in the past that you could make an argument give off this similar vibe. The one that I would go to is Love Disk in Generation 3 and Alolomola in Generation 5. These are entirely different Pokemon, but they look incredibly similar and they work very similarly in their in their geography, in the place they live and the niche they hold in the Pokemon world. Are these Pokemon going to retroactively be these new types? Or are they just interesting nods and maybe inspiration that the Pokemon company took? We will have to see. Wiglet and Diglett and Love Disk and Alola Mola do seem very similar on the face. So we'll see. We'll see what they choose to do with this Pokemon. We'll see what they choose to do with other alternative versions in the future. If there's a bunch of these that get revealed, we will just have to wait and see. Maybe in the trailer, when they show off more of Wiglet, they'll give us a couple more of these Pokemon as well to kind of take a look at and analyze. But that'll have to be for another day. So what do you guys think of Wiglet? What do you think of these new types of Pokemon that are not related, but are very similar? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you think it's just a copy of the Alaskan Bullworm, let me know that as well down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content like like it in the future. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I have been Linky and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.